when I first came to Japan in 2012, and Japan Rugby that time had a few thousand people watching, mm. and what Eddie did to the team, what Eddie did to Japanese rugby over the years, those years was transformational. He had a, such an incredible impact, and I am sure he will have just as bigger impact again now. Uh, look, it was always going to be um, an interesting challenge having you know the history that's that's gone on, you know the amount of players that he's coached in this team. Um, really enjoyed that challenge. I think what I enjoyed the most was probably the element of the unknown. Um, obviously, Eddie's first game with Japan, um, and I thought they were really good. You know, there was a lot of talk about how they wanted to play super fast rugby, and I thought they did that. They played very quick with the ball and move the ball fast and when they play like that they're a difficult team to beat. Firstly, the performance level will need to rise to, as we face New Zealand in two weeks time. The, I'll, I'll say about the, the discipline, you can't give that number of penalties away, we know that. Um, you, can't, you also can't give New Zealand the space that we gave Japan today. But at the same time, I, say, I expect our performance to go up a level. The team has been together. We had one session in England before we flew. We've had one proper session in Japan since we arrived, getting over the jet lag. So I think to produce that off a couple of sessions together has been very impressive from a player's point of view. Um, but we will need to go up several levels, and I expect us to go up several levels for when we face New Zealand.